Okay, uranium update here, August 20th, Friday, uh, well, Saturday morning. We'll look at CTJ first. And in my last video, I mentioned that we have a short-term decline underway. We had some consolidation, looks like it was breaking to the downside. And that is still continuing. So that, in some sense, is the good news, right? That we're kind of late in the daily cycle. So maybe we're going to get a bounce soon. Who knows? I mean, today was a really big down day. The market was down a lot as well. as So obviously, you know, this was pulled down. But this created some real bearishness on the weekly chart, which we'll, we'll look at. This was, But this was day 35. You can see previous cycle was uh, was 33 days. One before that was 40, 32, 27, 35. So at 35, we're getting pretty long in the tooth. So now is probably not the time to get super bearish, like we may get a bounce. But look at this weekly chart. And so this is important, right? This right here is your weekly cycle low at week 15. And then we had a bounce, right? We, so we didn't actually close above the 10 period moving average on week four, but it looks like it looked like, or I should say it looks like it was a week, early weekly cycle top on week four, right? Then we had this big candle down. I mean, look at this, look at this, this move up and then like just, but it's just a huge rejection in the form of it. Like, cause on a daily chart, there was a big pullback obviously. And then we had this big move down. And then just consolidation for one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. And then finally we burst higher and then just, just no follow through, right? We just get kind of dragged down now, right? So we, and there's no follow through, there's consolidation for two weeks, but at the higher end of the range. And that's why this, you know, on some lower time frame was a bull flag and it looked like it could be promising. And then we get this, you know, whoosh down this week. And so this to me suggests this is week 14 coming off of this cycle low, still declining from this week four. But even if it's not, it doesn't even matter, right? I, I think as, as I said, maybe this was your weekly cycle low instead, right? On that would be week 20, right? Or 21. And so now you're getting an early top. Either way, it's still a lower high to this, and we're still kind of continuing to descend. And most importantly, if you look at the monthly chart, we potentially have a three-year cycle top on week on month 25. This is month 29. This certainly looks like something that's making a lower high, something like a bear flag. And if we just look around, around the uranium space, this is your these are your monthly charts, just red everywhere and really fake breakouts, right? You know. We made a, a new high and now we're coming about to fail out of the other side of the range. Like if I look closer, so if you look at the CCJ chart, see, we made that new high. Now we would expect that we're going to make a new low below last month's low. So at, at about at 20 bucks, we've been kind of dancing at that level. I mean, look at, look at, look at, look how much we've sort of probed that $20 level. That suggests to me if we test it again, you know, it may not survive. So that's going to be interesting to watch. That could really open the floodgates. Then you're thinking, you know, maybe you have, you know, some relief around 18. Yeah, that's that's probably an important level. So definitely downside risk here uh, big time. But at the same time, the market is looking pretty risky at the same like, but but important to note. The market has not gone green, uh, red on the monthly yet. So this is massively underperforming the market. So that's telling you something. Um, so a lot of caution here. I, I'm sure there's a lot of long-term gain to, to be made, but clearly we're in a period of sort of at best sideways to lower. And I mean like longer term, like next six to 12 months maybe.